This is a Bananas Foster bread pudding. Or is it a Bananas Foster overnight French, baked French toast? It can be either. This is good as a breakfast or as a dessert, but I'm going to make it as a dessert. I have in front of me a 10 inch diameter uh, cake pan. Uh, it's got a very, very high sides. This is a professional cake pan. I'm using that for my mold today, but you don't need this. You can do this very nicely in one of these nine by 13 glass pans, which I think everyone in the world has one of these. Now I buttered this pan generously. And in it, I'm going to put a half a cup of roughly chopped pecans. I'm just gonna scatter them all over the bottom. And I'm gonna put it aside. Now I'm gonna make the caramel topping. In my saucepan, I have six tablespoons of melted butter. It's nicely melted. And to that, I'm going to add one cup of light brown sugar. And I'm gonna mix that up well. And I'm also going to add to this mixture two tablespoons of light corn syrup. This would be the typical caramel topping for a lot of desserts. Mm. Wow, look at that. I just used up my bottle of syrup. And now what I want to do is just blend this well until it's combined. We're not boiling this or anything, we're just melting the sugar a little bit. Goes very, very fast. All right, that's good. Now I'm gonna take it off and to it, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of my homemade vanilla I love, love, love this stuff. Maybe just a touch more. And I'm also going to add to it a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And that's our topping. Mix it up. Wow, it smells delicious already. Bring our pan over. And now I'm gonna put all the topping in the pan. It will sort of spread out by itself. It's so viscous that it'll just ooze around. And if it doesn't, you can give your pan a little bit of a twist. And that's our topping. I'm gonna to put this aside and I'm gonna get the top of the other ingredients that we need to put on top of it. And I'll be right back. Now we're gonna make the filling for the Bananas Foster bread pudding. I have three bananas, and as you can see, they're not gorgeous, but these are perfect for dessert. And I'm going to cut them slightly at an angle into slices, not because that makes any great difference, but it just, I think it looks pretty in nice long slices. And we're gonna take our pan, and we will just lay them down all around the pan. Now, if you don't want to take the time to stand here and put all the pieces in a pretty little pattern, you can just throw them on top. It's up to you. What I'm going to try to do when this Bananas Foster bread pudding is all done, is I am going to try to unmold this by flipping it out onto a platter. Whether it all comes out, sometimes it does, sometimes it sticks. I just hope I put enough um, butter in the pan to make it loose. And you have to do it while it first comes out of the oven before the caramel sets up too much. I'm gonna save some of these ends. Not for me. The ends are gonna be for our dog, our bulldog Lucy. She absolutely adores anything with bananas. Okay. Almost done. One more piece. And there we go. Now, it wouldn't be bread pudding without bread. So I have here a French loaf, which I purchased in the store. And I'm going to take the ends off. And I'm just going to slice it and dice it into cubes. You 
can see the size of the cubes I'm making. And now I'm just going to, as I slice them, start filling up my pan. I don't, it will take almost this entire loaf of French bread for this pan. I know because I made one yesterday. All right, so I've made sort of one layer. It's not full to the top. But now I have six ounces of cream cheese, regular cream cheese, unflavored, and I'm just going to dot it here and there into the bread pudding. This adds a lot of richness to this dish. It's also messy. That aside, wipe my hands off, and now some more bread. All right, that's about as much as I'm going to put in there. I've got this much left over from my loaf, so. It's all up to you how much more you want to shove in there if you can. Now the topping, the custard, if you will. In a bowl, I have eight whole eggs, which I'm going to give a little bit of a whip. And I'm going to add to those eight eggs one cup of milk. This is whole milk, no cream here. Then I'm going to add a teaspoon of my homemade vanilla again and a teaspoon of rum extract. If you didn't want the rum extract, you could leave it out. If you wanted to, you could put real rum in here. And I think I'm going to add just a touch of cinnamon. Just a touch. Smells wonderful. Now, we're going to pour this over our bread cubes. Try to make sure the bread on top, the cubes that are on the top, all get kind of moistened. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this with plastic wrap and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for at least eight hours or overnight. If you're going to make this for breakfast, you can put this together um, the night before and then get up in the morning, preheat your oven to 375 degrees and bake it for about 30 to 35 minutes. If you're going to have it for dinner, make it in the morning and then you'll have it for dinner. I have one that I made last night. I'm even going to reuse my plastic wrap. And when you put the plastic wrap on it, give it a smoosh down. Just make sure that it all gets really soaking up all of that custard. So my oven is on for 375. I'm going to put this on a tray because I don't want to be scrubbing my oven if some of this spills over. And then when I come back, I'll show you a finished bread pudding. Here's our Bananas Foster bread pudding out of the oven. It baked for approximately 35 minutes. I took it out, I put it on a rack on the counter here for about five. It's still very, very hot. Uh, I'm going to try to unmold it. Um, it would be just fine to serve it like this, just scoop it out. It, it'll be just as delicious, but I wanna hope I can do this. Sometimes, as I said, it works, and sometimes it doesn't. Again, it'll still be just as good. Get a handle on it here. Put my rack over there. Moment of truth. Voila! I lost two bananas in there, which is easy to just replace them. 
you bring that out to your breakfast guests or your dinner guests or anyone, just your family, that's a spectacular dessert, and my God, it's yummy.